So what is it that you want? Do I have to actually tell you what I want? Well, it, it would help with... I'm, it, I'm okay with you not saying that, but it probably wouldn't be the ideal demo. So I'm, uh, so I'm also okay with you not telling me what you want. And uh, let me ask you, you, go through a different line of inquiry. I guess there's some idea that you can't get what you want. If you were to get what you want, I know it's not possible, but if we were just to pretend, what would that give you that you wouldn't otherwise have? Uh, is it okay to tell me that? The perfect solution, I would have thought. It's like what I can't have is who I really want, if you, if you see what I mean. Sure, sure, I get that. So what you can't have is who you really want. Yeah. And so what I'm curious is if you could have them, if you could yeah. have the person you really want, why is that important to have that person? Uh, because I can't imagine um, finding a duplicate of that person that would be available. To well, them. sure, and you're probably right because yeah, unless they, they have connections and everything. Having du duplicate people are, in my experience, <laughs> in relatively short <laughs> supply. Uh, so that yeah, I'm with you on that one. Finding a duplicate person is yeah. probably. But, okay, so, so you can't imagine, right, what would that person give you that you wouldn't otherwise have? Uh, a, a, a sort of a, well, a deeper and a higher connection than I've experienced. Right? A deeper and a higher connection. <laughs> yeah. And why is that important, a deeper and a higher connection? Um, <clears throat> because it means you can really share things with somebody that you perhaps wouldn't be able to share with. So it means you can uh, really share things with somebody. So a deeper and higher connection. Which means you can really share things with somebody. Okay, and being able to really share things with somebody and understand things at the same level, why is that important, Sue? Um, because, it would, uh, because it would be quite, because it's enjoyable to be able to do that with somebody. Oh, sure, it's enjoyable. Yeah, it's enjoyable to be able to do that. And having that kind of an enjoyable experience, why is that important? Um, because, um, because there's only so much you can do, you can do on your own. Okay, so it's enjoyable. Uh, because there's only so much you can do on your own. Yeah. And so having the opportunity to, to do those things with someone else so that you're not doing it on your own. Why is that important? Um, to, to be able to do that with somebody, why is that important? Yeah. Um, <coughs> because it just, I'll go back to what I said before, because it just enriches your life more. It enriches your life more. I'm glad you said that, because I don't think you did say that before. And having, your, having something that enriches your life more, why is that important? I know I'm kind of like a dog with a bone with this, <laughs> but why is that important? Um, because it means you, you can see different things, you can learn different things. You can see different things. <laughs> And being able to see different things and learn different things and have it not from your po only your point of view all the time, why is that important? Or what would that give you that you wouldn't otherwise have? Um, I don't know what it would give me because it would require the other person to show me that. Ah, okay. So why is that important to have something that requires the other person to show you that? Because... I just want to learn everything and experience everything. Oh, yeah, me too. <laughs> as 
much as possible that I don't want to limit myself to myself. So, why on earth, given that you would never want to limit yourself to yourself, why on earth would you only allow yourself to have these kind of experiences with someone you can't have if you don't want to limit yeah. yourself? Yeah, too. Just breathe into that. Do me a favor. Sit up and breathe. Yeah, that's right. And really feel it there in your heart and all the way through to your back. And just be present with those sensations. Allow yourself to feel them. And what are you aware of as you sit here right now, Sue? That I don't have to limit myself. Oh, that's nice to know, isn't it? Yeah. Keep breathing. Okay. Keep breathing. <laughs> you know, one of the things, because those feelings that you're stopping breathing to try and suppress are the very feelings that are the gateway to the kind of freedom of learning and possibility for you. Yeah. That's right. Thank you. <laughs> the unconscious communicates in <laughs> mysterious ways. Can we have a round of applause for Sue?